hello guys uh, this is usman so we are back in tech and talk and this is another session on c sharp so this is going to be session on exception handling and global exception handling and uh, what are the different ways of handling exception and uh, what is try catch and final block and in catch how we can uh, add scenario to it and so let's get started so i am going to use the same tech and talk solution uh, that i have created and post on git repo so uh, let me repeat the idea behind this behind this uh, solution is we are implementing many examples uh, throughout uh, the tutorials so uh, instead of creating a separate solution what i did is i have created a one solution and i used to add another project for a new example so today's example is for console application so let me add a new project inside console solution folder and let me call it and this is a uh, console app.net firmware let me call it x and right and let me put it inside this console folder and we are good to go <clears throat> so as i have mentioned earlier the main focus of today's uh, session is the exception handling and global exception handling so uh, when i say global exception handling what i mean is that uh, while implementing a solution uh, inside our code if we haven't uh, you know uh, added any try catches to uh, handle specific scenarios so there should be a final gate where the exceptions should be logged so for global exception handling let me uh, add it first and then we will uh, see the different uh, ways of handling exceptions and how to add multiple catches and in which form we can add we will see later so let me first of all let me add console dot read key uh, the standard way to uh, stop the console application to see the progress so this will be stop the app for closing right mm, from closing so that's it and let's add a global exception handler so global exceptional handler is in app domain dot run domain dot handle unhandle exception and this will be uh, handled with the event implementation so let me name it global exception handler right so it is giving me suggestion to implement or to sorry to generate that method so let me generate it so if you can see that this is just an event and it is receiving sender object and the exception in as argument so let me add a region global uh, settings yeah it, this is more appropriate word and anything uh, which is global for this application uh, will be added here and let me end region like this and let me close this one right here so now we have added a final gate of exceptional handling so if we don't uh, catch any if we if we not catch any exception in our code throughout this project we will be 
uh, able to you know handle that exception in that final you know method so to demonstrate this let me just throw a new exception here just a test right like this and all right can test if we are able to catch that exception in our global handler yeah well, you can see that we have catched the exception here and we have exception object as well so yeah uh, it's working perfectly fine and in under this you know event normally what we do we use to log or exceptions here right uh, currently what I am gonna do is I am just gonna write the exception message on console line and I will do this in string template sorry an exception has raised and let me handle exception object dot to string like this and it will show the exception in console and also we need to exit our application right away like this so the purpose of exit is to you know uh, if exception was not handled in our code and it get caught in global handler it means that something very serious has happened so uh, we have to close our application as soon as possible to uh, you know uh, save our data or you know any useful information so we want to exit the application uh, there is another interesting thing in exit method that we have status codes for exit there is a huge list for this so zero means that program exited safely one means that the uh, there is some issue with the calling method and same here we have two three four and a huge list of you know uh, the yeah here it is so system error codes we call them system error codes and it's starting from zero to um, 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 there is a huge list of exit codes and with 487 which is error invalid address so each code has some meaning we don't have to you know uh, define it's already defined in uh, Microsoft's documentation so that was it about the exit code so uh, ideally we should exit here uh, by one that something has happened with our uh, method so uh, that was how to handle exceptions globally so next thing is I'm gonna uh, you know not uh, removing that global handler implementation uh, and now let's see how to catch exception so exception is a way to handle the scenario that has happened uh, exceptionally and we can't see it happen or happening so we 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 just uh, can you know guess that this could be happened so uh, any doubtful code can be you know put inside the try block and we need to handle the situations in catch and finally block so let's see how we can use try catch uh, let's say we have a uh, so the purpose of finally block is mostly to clean up anything uh, which is used the resource that is used inside the try, try block 
uh, and mostly there are the IO bound operations that consume the resources like connections, uh, web requests, uh, references like this and anything which is IO bound is more critical so this resource needs to be disposed. Uh, for the example point of view let me show you the example web client w, wb in this way and we need to use system.net for this and for making an http web request we need to write a try and finally block straight away a try can be uh, implemented uh, without catch block you can see that so let me use vb is equal to new up client and we want to download uh, sorry vb dot download string and let's download this one from www.youtube.com like this and let's store it inside a string content is equal to like this so we have our web client and we are making the request for downloading its uh, content and what the purpose of finally in this call will be to dispose that web client because this is uh, resource bound and we have to release these resources so need to dispose this uh, web client here so now you can see that uh, it's showing no error and let us go through the try catch one by one step by step you can see we have debugger on try inside the try and we have downloaded the whole content and if we can see it as html you can see the whole content has been downloaded so that's the happy path and finally we have control inside finally block and the web client has been disposed as simple as that and we have exit the program so what if we have invalid uh, resource URL and in this case our control should go inside catch block like this and we have the funny block there for disposing the web client so what if we have uh, web exception and each time it, ha it has different statuses so what I mean by this is let me show you that we have let's web client have exception like this let's say we have face the web exception like this and let's give it a try now and you can see that we have catch that exception and it's saying that remote name could not be resolved okay so for anything related to that resource it will always give us the web exception but how we can differentiate what is the status code of that response right what was the response from server 
so to differentiate this one we have a very awesome keyword provided by uh, you know c sharp here which is when we can use when to you know differentiate the different uh, you know the different uh, messages from exception or different statuses from ex the same exception and we can implement the same catch with multiple scenarios so let's see how we can do this let me say when and inside this when I will say exp dot response as HTTP web response and we need to use this and we need to check its status code need to check equals to dot not found and we can use the same catch block just with different kind of status quo let's say not implemented and you can see that we have multiple catches which are catching same exception but with different scenario which can be you know implemented with the help of the keyword when and if we uh, you know we can uh, if we can describe this uh, situation in normal language uh, we can say that handle web exception when the status code is not found and the handling code will be here this exception catch means handle over web exception when the status code is not implemented so you can implement as many as catches uh, as many catches as you can so yeah that that is how we can implement the when keyword in our exception handling so uh, that's it guys that was uh, that was the uh, very short and brief uh, implementation of first of all in console application we need to handle global exception handler we need to implement global exception handler the second thing is we can use try catch and finally when we are using the IO bound request so that in finally block we can dispose over you know resources and we can implement the multiple catches and especially for the web request we can handle multiple scenarios with multiple catches with the help of when keyword so that's it guys i will push this code uh, to the tech and talk repo and you can find this uh, code inside exception handling solution and that's it so keep trying this uh, solution and let me know what you think if you have any queries in your mind so till then have a great time and happy coding